Hello guys. Welcome to Tech Predator. Today we have got interesting news for Oppo Reno series fans. But before starting please like and subscribe and don't forget to press the notification bell so that you can get more content like this. Let's take a look. The Oppo Reno 7 series unveiled in November in China will begin its global journey on February 4, starting with India. The lineup consists of Reno 7, Reno 7 SE, and Reno 7 Pro. We know the Pro model will launch in India, but the company hasn't confirmed if it will bring both the vanilla and SE versions to the Asian country or skip one. While we await more confirmation on the number of Reno 7 phones launching in India next week, Oppo has detailed the design process of the LDI technology we'll see on the global models of the Reno 7 series. LDI, which stands for Laser Direct Imaging, is used to design PCBs in the aviation industry. And Oppo says its engineers worked for three years to repurpose the aircraft-grade LDI, which is used to create 1.2 million micro etchings, with a width of 20 microns across the surface of the smartphone's rear panel. This gives the phone's back cover a visual and textural illusion of shooting stars that Oppo calls aircraft-grade shooting star design. Additionally, the micron scale etchings help Oppo achieve a matte brushed finish on top of the Oppo Glow Air, which is just a rebranded Reno Glow design we saw on the Oppo Reno 6 Pro last year. The first stage of the LDI process involves coating a layer of ultraviolet protective ink on the glass side that faces the phone to prevent it from being chemically etched during the later steps. This protective layer also helps improve the accuracy of the laser engraving due to its light absorbing properties. After this, the opposite surface of the glass that faces the users is coated with a photoresist layer to create the desired star trails pattern on the Reno 7 series, which gives a dynamic optical effect when you see the phone from different angles. Oppo also tells us a bit about the camera module on the phone's rear panel. The island's design is called Twin Moon Camera Design, having the upper half decorated with metal and the lower half coated with ceramic to provide a contrasting but premium experience. The phone maker also says that the Reno 7 Pro features a color ceramic plated lens bezel made of zirconia, which is a first for the company. Zirconia has a hardness of 8.5 compared to 5.5 of stainless steel, and it's coated with another harder, slightly protruding film to protect the lens it surrounds, keeping it safe from scratches. Besides, the Reno 7 Pro's camera module features breathing lights around it, where Oppo has used a 1mm diameter fiber that's bent to frame the camera area. This fiber emits soft pulsating lights when the smartphone is charging or receives a call or a message. Oppo also confirmed that the international Reno 7 Pro will pack a 4,500 mAh battery like its Chinese counterpart. The smartphone will also have an aluminum frame and have a 2.5 dimension rounded design claimed to fit comfortably in your hand. However, with those flat edges, it remains to be seen how comfortable the Reno 7 Pro will be to hold. Oppo hasn't detailed the global Reno 7 Pro spec sheet yet, but the company already confirmed that it will come with a Dimensity 1200 Max Oc, 65 watt charging, and wireless PC Connect. The smartphone will be 7.45mm thick and feature Sony's IMX709 and IMX766 sensors. While we await more details on the Reno 7 series launching globally next week, you can head this way to check out the detailed specs of the Reno 7 lineup available in China. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.